Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. In today's video, we are reviewing this crazy movie called Bliss. Hey everyone, good to see you back here on the channel and thanks for joining me for this video review of Bliss. This is a movie that was sent to me by Umbrella Entertainment based in Australia. So let's just jump into this review. So just a brief plot storyline description about this one, Bliss. It's uh, basically a sort of struggling artist. Uh, you know, she's let go by her agent and she kind of does this kind of crazy, amazing work after a sort of a drug fueled uh, weekend, maybe. And things kind of get a bit more horror uh, as we sort of go along in the movie. Just some technical info about this release now. Released by Umbrella Entertainment based in Australia, as I mentioned. 2019 release. The feature itself is going to run 80 minutes long. Aspect ratio is 2.35 to 1 scopes. You're going to get those black bars top and bottom of your screen. Audio-wise, you're getting a Dolby Digital 5.1 surround track. And I will mention that this is a region for DVD. Some cast and crew info about this one. Bliss, this was directed by Joe Begos, or Begos, hopefully I'm pronouncing that one right. Your cast includes Dora Madison, True Collins, Jeremy Gardner, Graeme Skipper, Chris McKenna, and Abraham Ben Rubb, just to name a few. Artwork for this DVD release, uh, really fantastic artwork on the cover here. I really like this. Um, it doesn't mention if it was Simon uh, Simon Sherry that usually does the artwork for Umbrella, but uh, you have the paint and style cover here on the front. Uh, back, you're just going to get some images from the movie and stuff. Um, the kind of red and the blue is a team running throughout the movie and, you know, mixed in, into the purple. Inside, disc-wise, it's the same uh, artwork as the cover art on this, but uh, yeah, thumbs up on the artwork for this release, Bliss. So audio and picture quality for this release. There's a nice surround mix on the movie. As I mentioned, you're getting that Dolby Digital 5.1 surround track. Um, does the job. What I found really interesting, actually one of the most interesting things about this movie to me was it was shot on Super 16 film. Um, not a digital, not digitally shot this movie, Bliss. Um, Super 16 film, as I mentioned there. Um, so the transfer is coming from film uh, to disc and it does have that gritty 16mm look to it. You know, think back, stuff like Texas Chain saw massacre uh, originally shot in 16 mil so you really get the, f the film the gritty film look off that super 16 and um it's they've done a really good job in terms of shooting the movie and how it looks uh, i thought that was fantastic so just a couple of film notes on this one bliss i'm gonna put this down and check in with my notes here um the lead character desi is such an asshole in the movie she's really unlike as a character really unlikable um, I'm not too sure if that's what they were going for. Um, you know, you kind of don't really care for what happens to her throughout the movie, to be honest. If, if I'm being honest in, in watching this through you here for the channel. Um, contains a lot of, like, flashing light scenes. So uh, just be, if you have any sort of photosensitive epilepsy or anything like that, just be aware of that before you check out this one. Um, there's some interesting camera placements and camera setups in this I found really interesting. There's those kind of crazy camera that sort of, like, feels like it's attached to somebody's chest on a mount and kind of following them around you know uh, really interesting stuff there uh, on the camera placements and stuff um where i kind of this one kind of lost me a little bit was you know is it a is it a drugs movie is it a is it a horror movie is it a vampire movie um again i don't mean to sort of mention any spoilers here but she goes on this sort of drug so you may want to skip ahead here before i talk about this but she goes on this sort of drug fueled weekends to I guess trying to inspire her to do some paintings again. She's an artist lead character and, you know, is it she needs the drug more, but then she kind of, she's craving blood, so the horror elements come into the movie then. Um, and then, but she's kind of like a vampire, she starts killing people, so um, that's where it kind of lost me a little bit. You know, where where does it kind of fit in, really? Um, the red, some of the scenes, I, as I mentioned with the red and the blue here and the purple on the, on the artwork, um, you might be able to see here on the back cover there's some like scenes in a bar where everything is kind of lit in red and it just really doesn't work for me I don't like this at all just something that comes to mind recently is if you're a fan of the wrestling or WWE they light the wrestling ring and the whole arena in red for the Bray Wyatt matches and it looks terrible uh, and same here with the movie I think it looks terrible with everything shot and lit in red and um, really didn't work for me at all so bonus content on this release, Bliss, there is no bonus content, just the actual feature itself on the DVD, as I mentioned. So um, if you're happy enough with the feature, then you can go ahead and grab this one. 
so final thoughts and writing on this release bliss a joe bagus film released by umbrella entertainment i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a two and a half out of five halfway there you know i was um i was really impressed that this was shot on super 16 as i mentioned earlier shot on film which is a rare kind of a rare thing these days especially for like what you would assume is a sort of a, a pretty maybe not like a low budget but an in, a pretty independent horror movie um i don't see any major studios uh dark sky films actually is on the back as i say that but um yeah that was really impressive that it wasn't shot digitally super 16 and um i like the gritty look and the feel to it i think they they nailed that the technical side of shooting this film they done really well um i as i mentioned the lead actress is super annoying and i just think that it got a little lost in itself in terms of what it is i mean it's definitely a horror movie but you know where does it fit in in the horror stuff and all that um that's where it kind of lost me a little bit but um yeah overall pretty impressed with how they shot the movie so two and a half out of five so when and where is this available bliss is available right now on dvd from umbrella entertainment so i'll stick a link in the description down below and you can go ahead and order yourself a copy of this one once again i will mention that this is a region 4 dvd release it says on the back region 4 I am based in Ireland, so we're Region 2, and the DVD does play pretty perfect on my player. There's no issues, but uh, just be aware of that before you go ahead and order yourself a copy of this one. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for another review video here on the Movie Vault. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I've had social media links up in this top corner throughout the video if you want to give me a follow on there. And let me know in the comments, guys, if you've seen this movie, what you think of it, if you're going to pick it up. Um, any of that, if you're familiar with any of the director or the actors or anything like that, in it, if they're in other stuff, I should maybe check out. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next video.